introduction. Smita comes across a bright red feather while playing with her friends. She picks it up and puts it in her pocket. A little while later, she sees a beautiful blue marble lying on the ground. She picks that up as well and puts it in her pocket. She notices that the marble is heavier than the feather. In this lesson, you will learn about weights. Objectives At the end of this lesson, you will be able to Tell a lighter object from a heavier one Use a balance to compare the weights of two objects Understanding weight Let us understand the concept of weight with the help of an example. Lift a feather. Isn't it an easy task? This is because the feather is light. Now try lifting a brick. Do you find the task difficult? This is because the brick is heavy. Comparing weights. A heavier object has more weight than a lighter object. Let us understand it with the help of an example. Fill a glass with water. Fill a mug with water. Try to lift both. Which is easier to lift? Quite obviously, the glass filled with water. It is lighter than the mug filled with water. Therefore, we can say that objects that are easy to lift are lighter than objects that are difficult to lift. Self-assessment Look at the pictures carefully. Drag and drop the correct option to fill the sentences. Comparison using balance Look at this picture. Where have you seen this object? Yes, in shops. It is called a balance. It is used to measure weights. An apple seller weighs apples by placing the apples on one side and the weights on the other side of the balance. The balance can also be used to compare weights. Let us see how. Place a cucumber on one side and a watermelon on the other side of the balance. The side that has watermelon goes down. It means that the watermelon is heavier than the cucumber. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. Some objects are heavy while some others are light. Lighter objects are easier to lift than heavier objects. We can use a balance to compare the weights of two objects.